Hey, what's going on guys? Jason Lowe here with Jason Lowe Photography and Films and welcome back to another episode of the podcast series Real Talks with Filmmakers. So this episode is going to be about disconnecting and this is actually an interesting topic because we always talk about how films are an escape from reality, right? Like just, you know, disconnecting from reality and just, you know, going on an adventure, like just something we don't get to experience every day. But the thing is, as filmmakers, like, you know, we're always constantly, you know, making films, whether it be on set as an actor or a cameraman, a director, and, you know, as a writer, always in front of the computer, and then as a film editor who was always in front of the computer. So we're always, like, constantly you know, working, like even in our minds, like we have filmmaking on the mind, we, you know, do reviews on movies or watch a lot of movies and we talk about it. And it just seems like it's something that's always on 24 seven. And it's just so interesting because the, you know, job that I'm working at right now, like that's one of the biggest uh, challenges is like disconnecting from that and coming back to, you know, who you really are. Like for me, I'm a filmmaker, you know, I'm a writer, I'm a, you know, cameraman, I'm, you know, a film editor. And so it's trying to having to reconnect with that. But when I finally connect with that, now, like the long hours of making a video for YouTube or making a film and also writing a screenplay and then, you know, editing all those videos I come to find myself like just completely like connected with like all these worlds that I created in my stories or just all these, you know, topics that, you know, I talk about, you know, when it comes down to making filmmaking or just, um, you know, putting together a film, you know, for a movie. And it's like just, I kind of lost that connection with like the real world, like with my friends and my family. And that's why... You know, today I'm talking about disconnecting from that, you know, that world, like the film world, and coming back to reality or real life, if you will, and just, you know, going back to that saying of like living life to the fullest. But in order to, you know, live life to the fullest, is that you have to be able to actually come back to it. You know, for me, when I disconnect from you know, my filmmaking, I go out and travel. I go out and meet with friends and family, catch up with like just, you know, what's been going on with your lives and also sharing with, you know, my friends and family of like what's been going on with my life. And then when I go on my travels, you know, living life, seeing what's out there, tasting the food, you know, sightseeing or, you know, chatting with like locals and just hearing all these stories and, to me, I find that like very healthy and also very, uh, very fun because you're learning a lot of things and you're, you know, also getting to enjoy what life has has to offer. And I'm not saying like disconnecting from filmmaking and just staying away from that. It's like just now you bring a little bit of like, you know, what you learned in real life and then, you know, coming to find out that, you know what, this would make a great story to tell, you know, through a script or a film and then also vice versa. It's like, it's almost like, you know, you see a great film and you talk about it with your friends and family and, you know, now they're thinking, you know what, that sounds like something I would totally watch or something I would enjoy. Or even if they ever seen it, it's like now you have something to talk about to where it's like, wow, I can totally, you know, get into that kind of thing. So it's kind of like that balance of, you know, connecting you know, both worlds, the filmmaking world, or sorry, or yeah, the filmmaking or like just the film world of like whatever movie you saw with the real world. And just come to realize that they both have something in common. But the one thing that they definitely have in common with is that, you know, they both have something like, you know, drama or comedy or adventure that's happened on both sides, the real and the f the film or the movie world that's in that movie. So it's interesting because I was actually pitching an idea to a friend of mine. Uh, it's 
somewhat in the um, theme of like what came first, right? So the idea would be me interviewing like, you know, people who were inspired by films to become who they are, whether it be a nurse, a teacher, a policeman, a firefighter, a soldier, you know, uh, architect, I mean, etc. And then also interviewing filmmakers of like how they came up with the idea. And a lot of times they would get the ideas from like their experiences from everyday lives or in the real world. And so it's like just, it just goes to show that, you know, on both sides of both the real and the, uh, you know, the film world, it's like both, you know, pushed each other and also inspired each other to create great stories. But in order to experience both sides is you have to be able to disconnect from one to the, and, and I'm sorry, disconnect from one and then connect with the other and then reconnect again, you know? And so, um, the reason why I bring this up is because, you know, we are always constantly working. Um, and I'm talking about the filmmakers. So it's like, we're always constantly working. You know, film shoots could be days, weeks, and months to complete. And, you know, you don't get that much time with your friends and family or just to enjoy, you know, life for a moment, like for yourself. You know, it's like, that's why you see a lot of celebrities, like actors, right? Whenever they're, you know, out and about, like they like to, you know, be hidden because they just want that private moment to be, you know, with themselves or with their friends and families because they already know it's like as soon as like, you know, the week is over with, they have to be on a plane or on a train or the next ride to the next film, which is going to be another weeks, months or year. And so that's why to be able to like disconnect from like the filming world and reconnecting with like just the real world you know it's really really um a healthy thing too because you know you need a little bit of both worlds 